What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Today I'm gonna have just a quick video for y'all. Right here I have a, this is a 2020 Mazda 3. It has about 21,000 miles on it and uh, it has something that happened to it. It looks like it, uh, there's a brake light on the dash and brake malfunction. So I'm just gonna show you what I found real quick. So let's get to it. All right, so I already have the car open. And I'm just going to show you the messages I'm seeing on the cluster. So as soon as you turn the car on, let's go ahead and start it. On the right side over here, you're going to see that the brake light stays on. It's a brake warning light. And then you see that right there. Braking system malfunctions. Stop the vehicle in a safe location and drive safety and driver support system partially disabled drive safety drive safely so so i'm going to show you what i found and how easy of a diagnosis it was but actually replacing the part is a hundred times more difficult than just diagnosing it so let me go ahead and show you all right so i already went ahead and i uh hooked the vehicle up to my scanner and i got it up here and let's go ahead and I'm going to show you what the code was and where it was located. So the code is located in the VCM. It only has one DTC. And as you can see right there, VCM, brake fluid level sensor, signal above allowable range. So the first thing I always do is when I see something like that is I'll check, you know, the brake fluid level. And as you can see, it's it's right there it's in a good spot it's over the sensor the sensor is right here underneath on the bottom and on this side over here you can actually see the the full line and then the minimum line is down here so it's actually right on the f line all right so i'm back at the computer let's go ahead and close this and i already got the page pulled up for uh, a brake fluid level sensor inspection since the code you saw before was for the brake fluid level sensor. So I'm just gonna go to where it shows it right here. And here's the connector for the brake fluid uh, level sensor. It's just a two pin connector and it only has two readings. When it's above minimum, it'll show open. And when it's below minimum, there should be continuity. So Mazda wants me to, you know, Put a voltmeter on here and measure it with fluid and without fluid but a really easy way to check it is to just unplug it because when it's full it should read open so all i'm going to do is unplug this sensor right here all right so i got it unplugged and now this is pretty much the same thing as the sensor sensing that the brake fluid reservoir is full you know it's open now let's go ahead back in the vehicle now I'm gonna start the vehicle again and as you can see that brake fluid that brake light next to the parking brake went off and then the messages that were appearing you know for brake malfunction it's all gone as well so that already goes to tell me that that brake fluid sensor on the car is stuck in the closed position all right now to cover all my bases i'm going to go ahead and plug it back in and recheck it All right, so I got it plugged in. Let's go ahead and start the car again. See what we get. And there it is, you saw it. Brake malfunction, safety and driver, yep. So I just wanted to go ahead and cover my bases. Do it plugged in, 
unplug it, check it, plug it back in, check it, and that's it. Alright, so as you can see, it's super easy to diagnose. It was just this sensor right here is stuck in the closed position. So, easy diagnosis, but the problem is now is that that sensor is actually built in to the reservoir. And the reservoir cannot be ordered separately from the master cylinder. It's all one unit. So, even, it's just not a, I don't like it. I wish the sensor, I could have just removed it, installed a new one, like a lot of uh, master cylinder reservoirs out there. But no, this one is built in, and they don't sell the master cylinder separate from the res. So, I could go ahead and just leave it unplugged, and leaving it unplugged is going to pretty much tell the car that the master cylinder res is full. And we could just tell her, just whenever you come in, we just monitor it for you for now. And that could be... that. It's honestly up to her. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. It's a pretty simple diagnosis. Pretty, it's pretty easy to find the problem. It's just the fact that I just can't remove that sensor and put a new one in. Sucks. <laughs> so I could, like I said before, we could either replace the whole master cylinder and the reservoir that comes with, you know, the the sensor already built in, or we could just leave it unplugged and just monitor it because unplugged is pretty much telling the car that the brake fluid level is full. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you guys like the content, if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.